We'll have to abandon the gate. We have no choice. We must rescue Ajax. Hold on, Ajax. My hoplites are on their way. Alrighty, folks. Hello and welcome back to some more Age of Mythology retold content. Today I'm replaying Just Enough Rope. Thank you, my friend. Let's regroup at your camp, Ajax. So, so this was a mission I actually um, cheesed in the uh, original um, playthrough. So I thought I would do a non-cheese run, essentially like a traditional run, if you will, for this mission. I'm going to grab Odysseus real quick. Setting up all my hotkeys. We've got um, the Vill production locked um, so that we can just keep on creating them. So they're auto queued at the moment. So originally I came through the. Troy is attempting to farm outside her walls? We can steal these farms, build a granary here, and get some of our villagers farming them. No. Granary? No. <laughs> it's granary. Granary stocks are very low, sire. So yeah, basically I cheesed this mission originally, so I thought, do you know what? A lot of people were asking in the comments if I could do some traditional runs on some of the missions where I cheesed them, essentially, or found a little workaround. Did a cheeky cheeky. And so I thought, yeah, do you know what? I, I, it's been um, it's been a couple of weeks since I last played Age of Mythology Resold, and do you know what? I, I was missing it. I had that itch, and uh, so yeah, we're going to be replaying a lot of the missions that I kind of, yeah, like I said, quote unquote, cheesed. Interesting pathing for the enemy. Pop all the powers here. Try to build stables close to the front. Etimos. Prostagma. That was unfortunate Etimos. pathing the enemy took there. Probably should have been a little bit more forward. But it's all good. They only really lost one uh, one vill there, so not too bad, all things considered. So, yeah, in the last mission, we kind of went around the back to cripple the enemy economy. We're not doing that this time. We are going to do a straight-up macro game. Um, where it's basically a tug-of-war. There's two relics I want. There's one here and one we just picked up, which increases caravan speed. And we are going to just focus on economy very, very... Uh, very heavily. Once this guy goes, picks up the relics. And there's going to be quite a few missions, actually, that I skipped. Or, as I skipped, I kind of did a, a cheeky cheeky with. And all of those missions we're going to be replaying. Um, there was a couple of Egypt missions, a couple of Norse ones, quite a few um, Greek as well. So we're going to take control of these, however. I'm going to make sure the enemy doesn't... Have free reign to build cavalry. I'm also going to want to focus on... Uh, uh, wood and favour production. We'll pretty much run out of food at this point in terms of pigs, so we're actually going to transition to our farm eco. So this artifact gives us plus 10% villager movement speed, which is fairly useful. Now the gimmick with this mission really is the fact that the enemy has access to way more gold than we do. Gold is actually pretty tricky to get hold of, and the enemy's attacks get more and more relentless as time goes on. Make sure he doesn't go into my uh, economy line. 
And then we need to defend the next attack. At this point, we're going to need to add on some actual unit production. Uh, we could also build a wall here. Just by his time. We can also build a wall here if we want. Um, I will be planning to build a um, fortress up here. But yeah, the enemy has access to this gold mine, which is probably the biggest challenge. And they'll also try and nab this one too. So we want to get, at the very least, just a watchtower here, just to make sure they don't do that. Because they can't have access to that gold mine as well. Otherwise, we are in a difficult spot. Definitely want hydras. Hydras are, like, even in the um, the original mission I did um, of this um, this scenario, it was very much a case of Hydras are king, and that hasn't changed. Hydras are still king. Um, generally one of the strongest myth units in the game. Um, the fact that you can also upgrade them so that they actually heal over time is kind of nuts. So this is probably the hardest um, fight for us because we don't have a huge amount of units right now. However, this is where we pretty much start our uh, our unit production again. <laughs> We really do with a Hydra with a couple of heads if we can get it. Hydra's damage output is insane. The more, obviously, once you get like three or four heads, it's actually busted just how much damage they're able to put out. Okay, so we are going to want hoplites and hippasts. Still focusing on worker production. Wood is going to be the biggest, I think, challenge. Uh, we are limited in how much wood there is to cut. Etimus. <laughs> So we also want an armory at this point as well. As soon as I've got the uh, wood to do that. And then we're basically just prepping for their attacks. The enemy will just be relentless in their attacks. Let's set a new rally point. On Odysseus. Probably worth getting a couple of Minotaurs as well. Lege. Now eventually we do want to stop producing units so that we can actually age up. Aging up is a big deal on this mission. But right now we don't have enough troops really. It's actually a pretty good spot for us to, uh... Chop down. Prostagma. I'm actually going to build a wall here so the enemy doesn't just waltz into our base. So one, having recently played Age of Empires uh, Definitive Edition, it's very... Um, very nice to have the ability to uh, shift click again. 
It's uh, definitely one of the things I missed most about this game. <laughs> Having transitioned from one to the other. Yeah, it looks like they're attacking from the left side this time. So at this point I'm actually going to halt production of units. We may need to restart again, but right now, my priority is essentially having enough um, resources to age up. We actually have a pretty decent standing army right now. I'm going to restart these because it doesn't cost any food. This is just kind of increasing all the hit points of all our units by a small amount. I'm going to grab a couple of caravans. So this is just a classic tug of war. The enemy will just constantly attack us. And they do have resources for days. So interestingly, it's the reinforcements that come through from this base over here. transition to more gold at this point. Uh, we're on 20 on wood, so I still need more food. Let me move some of these guys over to food. We'll take this out. Do you want to be careful that we don't overextend and start pushing into their base? So we will build a couple of uh, towers too. At this point we can stop build production. We've actually got a really good amount. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to build another like six just so I can build. Get some more favour. Favour is very important in this mission. Thanks for the head. Four heads on the Hydra now, which is pretty good. You guys can go and on this gold. I'm going to put a couple more on food. Kind of mad that despite having so many people vills on uh, wood, that's still the big problem. Transition these guys over there. These guys are too far away. I'm not quite ready to resume unit production. You know, at this point, I'm actually going to stop Toxite production because it is rinsing through my uh, wood stores. I'd rather the uh, Citadel Fortress takes the uh, damage rather than uh, my archers. Hence why we moved it behind. 
Still don't have any siege equipment, so we're going to need a little few of those before we push into the enemy. Once you get enough Toxitase, things are a lot more manageable. Okay, we're going to stop production there so that we can actually. Uh... Still got a massive army. It's like kind of crazy just how many troops they can create. We're definitely not ready to take them on just yet. Definitely take down the gate at least. Just want to start our upgrades. This is too risky. I'm not taking that risk. There's no need for it. Take down some more of their uh, things though. Definitely kill their vills. We don't want to stack all of our archers on top of each other because it's an easy target for the trollers or whatever they're called. We definitely want to get uh, Volti, oh, plenty volts plus Colossus, so aging up for Havestus. So lowering the enemy out so that we can uh, take him. Um, in a more favourable fight rather than pushing down in their base. I mean, to be fair, the enemies actually pretty much run out of uh, steam. Do you still need to be careful though? Okay, we're turning on uh, unit production again. Okay, yeah, this is starting to go a little bit south, so we're going to back off. As soon as we get the Volti plant or Plenty Volt, we'll be uh, we'll be laughing. We can resume hydro production. Now we can upgrade all the boys. Back it up, back it up. Absolutely no need to take any unnecessary fights, even though we are in a really good position. Oh, actually, we should grab this upgrade first. Makes everything else cheaper. Three Colossus is always nice and appreciated. Actually, 
Actually, start building myrmidons as well. A few more of these. So we're actually running out of gold now. Uh, there is one other gold thing we can grab over here. This one's still got 4,000, so we're actually pretty good. For a little while at least. To be fair, at this point we should have enough. He says. Our army is very healthy. Although I never put it past an AI. The amount of troops they can produce on a whim is uh, pretty scary. But we are capped, so there is that. Now we should also turn this off so we can actually get some more favour. We're actually going to pull these guys onto favour as well. So we want the, uh, these guys to be targeting the buildings. Yeah, that actually should be all she wrote, especially with us taking control of the gold again from the enemy. GG's! I think once we destroy this. Alright. So yeah, that's the more traditional approach to win this uh, mission. We've regained control here. All right, there we go, boys and girls. That will right about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.